You know, life is about goals. Goals you set for yourself. Goals you set for your life. Whether it be at work. Whether it be at home. Whether it be wherever, you know, wherever you set your goals. You want to see them through. My goal from the moment that I started this channel was to hit a hundred subs now there are some even those in my family those in my friends and co-workers that don't understand that they don't understand the whole thing of youtube they don't understand why there are some of us who have these type of channels and want to talk on the channel and give our opinions and voice our opinions trailer reactions and movie reviews and videos that we create and they don't think that it's anything but a hobby not really anything to be taken serious now with me i take my channel very seriously in a sense that i put my time and effort into it like when i get home from work i have maybe a couple hours before i have to go back to sleep because i gotta go back to work the next day and every spare time that I have, any spare time I have, I put into my channel. And it has shown that I started at 18 subs about, you know, what time, when, when was that last year? When I kind of, because this channel used to be just a, a pretty much a vlog channel and it wasn't going anywhere. And I figured, you know, I'm going to revamp this. I'm going to kill my other channel that I was doing, started doing trailer reactions on. And... I decided to just put that channel, the other channel, and put it aside. And then this channel, I was going to mainly focus on it, it being my main channel. I have other channels that I do, but it's different things. So I got one that it's mainly my video editing skills. You don't see me on screen. And it's uh, SL Tile Productions. And I do these music mashups and all types of other things where it's I put videos together and put music to it and try to create a visual, you know, that's my vision. But using, you know, video and editing video and uh, other uh, music and everything to kind of make a mini video, music video, a little mini movie, which, what have you. And there's another one that I'm a fan of Opie and Anthony. And I'm a fan of everybody in that comedy community. And I do... Had, I've had that up since 2006. And I use that video to pretty much upload segments and videos from whatever they're doing. Whether it be... Well, not Opie and Anthony because they've since broken up. But individually, not so much Opie. I'm not a fan of his anymore. But Anthony Cumia and Jim Norton and all the others, I take segments that I like and I upload those with a little bit of uh, my editing into it, you know, pictures and all that stuff to kind of give it a visual. And it's a pretty successful channel of mine. I've gotten over 2,000 some odd uh, subs on that. And I'm proud of that channel. And it's a channel that I go to from now every now and then. I've, I've neglected it at times because I'm focusing on this channel. And it shows to me that the sacrifice I made to focus on this channel for the mean, meantime paid off. I hit my goal of 100 subs. And I got the notification and saying that you hit the 100 subscriber mark, which is pretty cool. Because it's great to have a goal, see it through, and see the results. Now it's time for me to focus on a new goal and that is to hit 500 subs by the year end 2020 
And going back to what I said about people not understanding, it's frustrating at times. And I know me that there are going to be people in my family that are going to hear this. And maybe this is going to finally click for them and click for those others who I've talked to and don't understand what this is all about. It's not just a hobby. It's not just uh, something that I'm just, ah, you know, I, I'm, I'm attracted to that thing. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. It looks fun. I mean, it is fun. And it is uh, a great time, time, you know, uh, you know, you know, something that, you know, kind of like, you know, what's that word? But it, it helps to to make the time go, you know, because you're doing something you love, you love to do. I love editing. I love video editing. I love being in front of the uh, camera and talking about things that I enjoy. Is this something that I would like to go towards possibly making a living out of it? Yeah. Who wouldn't? To be able to just, at your own leisure, get up anytime you want, turn on your camera, your video, uh, your camera, your computer and all that, and then talk into the thing, into the, talking to the camera, you know, you have a subject set up, whether it be trailers, whether it be movies, talking about movies, whatever, you know, your your interest, and then be paid for it. I mean, who would it? Because you, you wouldn't have to go be caught in traffic. You wouldn't have to deal with idiot bosses. And people who think they know more than you and they try to talk you down, you know, talk down to you and try to talk like they're smarter than you, ridiculing you. It's it's not worth it, you know. But if this is the way that I'm going to be doing it for the rest of my time, you know, just doing it and just pretty much it be a side thing. But I have a main job, another job. So, you know, so be it. But it would be nice to kind of work towards that goal because. That's the one thing that I'm saying that the people in my life that don't understand, that's what it's all about, guys. You know, this is something that I seriously always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be in, you know, movies doing, you know, I, I'm, I'm like an amateur writer and I've always done video editing my whole life. And I've always been interested in that, writing screenplays and all that stuff. I've always wanted to do that. And this right here is a way for me to kind of have a little taste of that, at least be able to put my ideas out there and show people my creativity and how I edit videos and how I present them. I don't think it's the same as anybody else. It could be, but that's purely by coincidence and not because I, because I don't copy nobody. I get inspired by people. Sure. I get inspired and I add some things that I've seen, but I don't copy people. That's just not me. You see people out there and they blatantly will copy a person from beginning to end, their look, their appearance, their background, the way they talk. I've had I had one person who I follow on YouTube telling me that I am they like my channel, they like me because I'm brutally honest, I'm not fake, I am myself. And that really does hit home and that really does make me feel good because it's like this person gets it. And thing about it though is that I never get anybody that I know in my life, family or whomever, go up to me and tell me that wow that's a great video i saw you put up the other day or the one you did last month or i like to think it's it, it never happens and i'm just thinking this is that because they just don't watch my videos or they just don't care or they just don't they just don't see the significance of it you know because none of them have a youtube channel like that so maybe they just don't understand and i can understand that i can understand that you know, it's something that you just do not understand. And so, of course, you're not going to bring it up. You're not going to talk about it or whatever. I mean, I've had a, a, someone tell me that, yeah, I liked what you posted on on this, um, you know, on uh, Facebook or something like that. But it's a video that I did on TikTok because I do TikTok too. Yeah, yeah, you could harass me all you want. That's fine. People always want to rip on people that do TikTok. But it's fun. It's a fun channel. I got about 280 you know followers on there and it's fun doing videos on there there's little little skit things that you do on there and the trends that you can get into and it's fun it's fun it's a fun uh platform and i had one uh member of my family tell me you know that yeah i like that video but it's like it wasn't on my youtube channel the youtube channel i totally am the one that that's the one that i totally promote and i put out there i got my own facebook page that that i use that in order to 
put it out there, you know, I put up the links and everything, and I'm getting good traction from there. You know, with Facebook, Facebook is really good because Facebook allows you to boost posts. And so you pretty much make little mini ads for your videos or whatever, and it reaches more people. And then when they see that, they'll click onto it and they go, oh, wow, that's a pretty nice video. Or that's a good channel. That's a good thing. You know, I'll subscribe or I'll, I'm pretty sure that's probably where I got a lot of my subs because of that. And also I got a Twitter. And my Twitter and my Facebook is all search C channel. Same. Easy to find, easy to follow. And, you know, there I use that as a promotion. I put my links to my videos. And I see some traction. I see people coming on, you know. It's not where I would like to, it to be. But at the same time, I'm a patient person. So I allow it to organically happen. I'm not going to get these pay for these services that guarantee you get a thousand subs in a day or so or in a month you're going to get 10,000 subs it's like what is the where's the fun in that where is the feeling of hard work in that you know it's not there's nothing there there's no feeling of accomplishment you know people want to latch on to these bigger channels because that's going to get them more subs it's like I'd rather cut off my left arm in in order to especially some to some of the people that they want to latch on to some of these you know, some of these um, channels that communities that are so toxic and you want to pretty much sell your soul for some subs, for some views, for some clout. That is not where it's at. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, I've always, you know, lived hand to hand, you know, foot, you know, hand to what's that saying where. I know the the saying that I, I definitely know definitely is uh, paycheck to paycheck. I've lived paycheck to paycheck my whole life, my whole working career. You know, hand to mouth, you know, all that, all the sayings, you know, where it's like you're struggling every day. And I'm a survivor and I've, and I've had to deal with living that way. So to me, it doesn't matter. It, it, to me, it's not, 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 not that um, hard for me to see little you know, accomplishments here and there. Every other video, I at least get two or three subs, and that's so cool. Because at least that's progress. At least that's something that where my videos are hitting people. And they're watching my videos and going, damn, you know, this guy's pretty good. I like his video. Or I like this thing. I think I'm going to sub. You know, and that's what it's, what it's all about. And for me to find out that I reached my goal that I set really really uh made me feel happy and it really really just justified the work that i've been putting into my channel and you know here i am at standing at 100 subs like i said in the beginning not much to some there are people out there who even though they don't have any subs at all they're just people that are on youtube that like to watch videos some like to be trolls unfortunately and they like to talk crap and, you know, so they're, they're thinking, well, that's only 100 subs, guy. It's like, you're happy about that? But it's like, it's something that I earned. You know, I earned it. I worked hard to get those subs. It's like, don't look ahead to the grandeur of getting 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000 subs. You'll never get there. In the beginning, yeah, I was like, wow, it'd be nice to have this, have that. And sometimes there's a passing thought in my head that wouldn't it be nice to be there but i don't let that you know what's that word i don't let it eat me up i've reached 100 that's an accomplishment to me and i'm sure there's somebody out some of you out there that are like going good job guy good job man you know that's that's not as many as a thousand or ten thousand but then who cares because you made it that you know that far keep going and all i can hope is that once i hit 100 does it get does it get uh easier from here does more subs happen because you get more a little more a little more exposure a little more and i know that the downfall of that is that you got people lying in wait the trolls the uh toxic communities out there that once you hit a certain plateau let's say you hit ten thousand, and they're threatened and what do they do they start spreading crap about you rumors about you trying to take you down because they're nothing but bunch of little 
little babies and little bitches that want to that don't fear competition. If you are legit and you are one of the best channels out there and you know your crap and you know what you're talking about, why be afraid of the little guy that's coming up behind you? Why don't you embrace that person? Because that's what I would do. I would embrace that person and go, good job. And I would try to get some of my subs, if I was up, in that, up, that, up at that level, to sub to them. Because we make each other stronger, especially if we're talking about the same subject. The same, we have the same kind of gripes and the same complaints, whether it be at a certain company or a certain franchise or whatever. And we can make our voices, opinions and heard and like they did with Sonic, you know, the, the movie. Uh, the majority of people didn't like the, the look of him. What did they do? They changed his look and it's much better now. You got a community out there that's all about Alita Battle Angel, you know, Alita armies out there. And I consider myself one of those people because it would be great to see the, the continuation of that film. But you got a great community that I'm sure they invite everybody in. I've not seen anything negative about them yet, and I don't think they are. They're a great community that just believes in this incredible character, you know, that made its uh, origin from, got its origin from a manga, you know, an anime. And here we are, you know, the movie was made and then who knows if there's going to be a sequel. But these guys are out there positively spreading the word and they're trying to get it made. They're trying to influence the studios, at least James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez. But that's what I'm talking about. Positivity. But that's the only drawback, I think, of getting popular, of getting so many thousands of subs and being up there is that there are people that are waiting there with Thor like hammers to knock you down. And, you know, that's something that maybe it's I, that's why I'm, I'm really just humble and I'm good right now is staying at the level that I'm at. But I'm probably going to see more numbers, you know, and my subs go up, go up, go up. But, you know, who knows? I mean, I might uh, I might start uh, dreading if I do reach a thousand and then if I get more and more than that, you know, because like I said, the more popular you are, the more attention you get. And then these wolves these hyenas come out from the woods and they start pouncing on you but i'm ready for that because you know i know people in the youtube community that are very strong they're very uh tough they're very um no nonsense and won't let these negative toxic uh, communities get to them and bravo to you guys and i'm with you i'm like that too i know how to deal with people like that dealing with people like that my whole life so bring it on but until then i'm still my humble self still at 100 subs and it's all good because like i said it's about setting goals and we all set goals in our life and it's always a great feeling isn't it when we reach those goals and i know that this next goal i set is going to be a monumental one but it's just a matter of just me getting my channel out there my videos exposure and all that stuff, and kind of reaching out to my friends, people that I know, so maybe that they can help me along. But at the same time, I'm willing to do this on my own, because I've been doing it on my own. And, uh, you know, that's just what it's all about. So for those of you who stopped by and uh, checked out this video, uh, I appreciate it. And this past year has been, has been really great, and I want to just thank you all for supporting me. Those of you who subbed, I can't thank you enough. Y'all are great. Love y'all. And as always, in closing, and as always, take care.